Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today I'm gonna show you an important uh, information in regards to uh, how to check uh, Universal Mobile Phone IMEI check service. This one is uh, free, so please be sure not to pay. There are some uh, other website out there would charge you a fee just to check if your IMEI number has been reported lost, stolen, or a uh, blacklist. So if you uh, owe a balance, uh, your mobile carrier might uh, block your uh, phone. So you're not going to have any service or uh, any signal strength at all. And this will apply to all manufacturers and phone uh, models are supported, which are uh, iPhone, Samsung, HTC, LG, Nokia, Lenovo, Huawei, and etc. This IMEI number, uh, uh, IMEI checker, has about 99.9% .9 accuracy, and uh, almost all country and mobile operators are supported. So this is including the USA, United Kingdom, Canada, Europe Union, Japan, Australia, China, and etc. Okay. So if you got the IMEA number, you go uh, onto the top and then uh, just enter it. So if you have the ESN number, it will not work for you. So I'm going to input the IMEA number. And you need to click over here. I am not a robot. I forgot to check it. Make sure you checked it. And then uh, click on check. So this is what you get. It will tell you the the brand, which is the Apple, and then the phone model. This is the iPhone uh, six. It will tell you find my iPhone is turned on, and iCloud status is clean. Blacklist status is clean. So this phone is uh, it has a Find My iPhone app turned on. So that's why it is locked. So I try to restore it, and then it will ask me to uh, continue the, with the activation. Okay. So this is good if you uh, want to buy a used phone or some phone that's out there online such as uh, eBay, Amazon, somebody's uh, used phone. You want to be sure you check it and uh, make sure it is not report lost or stolen or, or uh, balance on their account. If you that some deal is too good to be truth. So if you buy it and then uh, after you get it, you try to activate it, and then uh, your company says, uh, and this one has a report loss of stolen, they can activate it or uh, it is a uh, blacklist. So you will end up um, throwing your money down uh, to the drain. So even a uh, quick, quick list, you know, and there are some other app out there. You got to be careful, okay? Be sure you buy it. And before you buy, you want to go ahead and check your IMEI number, make sure it's clear. 
So I got my uh, one of the slider phone over here. I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to check it too. So I'm going to enter the IMEA number. Yeah. And check on IM9 robot. Oh, no, I bought. No, yeah, 9 robot. So as you can see, it shows uh, the model number, which is the W5A0C. Blacklist status, it is clean. Okay. So please uh, be sure to like the video and then uh, drop a comment on below and share this with your friend on social media. You can check the AT&T uh, US uh, Sprint. T-Mobile. Uh, please uh, be sure to sub and turn on your notifications so whenever I upload the new and latest uh, video, uh, it will notify you guys uh, instantly so you guys can check them out. So, oh yeah, I will tell you the link. This one is the www.imeipro.info that is the website and this is uh, free if you don't know your IMEA number you could dial a uh, star pound zero six pound or check on the back of the phone but uh, you want to check it inside the phone because uh, sometimes the seller swap the the case with the board or whatever, you know, it might be the wrong IMEA number on the back of the phone or the case, okay? So if you guys have any other website that you can share, please uh, also share on the comment, drop it on the comment below. And, uh, there were one website that I checked. It will tell you what company, AT&T. But unfortunately, it is a pay. So you got to click on one of the icon if you want to pay or not. And then it will tell you if it's blacklist or not. So, so it shouldn't really matter. I mean, it will tell you the phone. But it's good to know which company it is from. In case you need to uh, unlock the phone, you need to tell the seller uh, what company in order to get the unlock code and stuff like that. So I will probably make another video for doing that, but uh, that that will just uh, tell you what carrier and the model number, but it will not allow you to uh, check it because they want you to pay. All right. Uh, let me see if I could try to search it. There's uh, another one of this is uh, you could enter the ESN number, IMEN number, free with the SWAPPA. So I'm going to enter uh, this. Uh, shoot. I got to grab it from the other website. Let me see. Let's see. Let me see if it works. 
because when I try to enter the ESN number on this one, it tells me that, uh, see, contain too many digits. IBM number should contain 15 digits. Please uh, correct it and try it again. So this is another site that uh, you could enter the ESN number. You could go to https colon slash slash swappa.com So you can also check this with the tablets, okay? So it automatically converts that to the IMEA number. So it show you that blackness is not indicated. This device does not appear to be global blackness. Activation status, it is clear. All right. And you don't need to worry about the one on the right hand side. Those are some of the use phone that they offering to allow you to buy online stuff like that. So hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. This is a tutorial on how to check your IMEA number plus uh, ESN. And hopefully this uh, help you guys out with uh, buying a used phone in the future. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. All right. Peace out guys.